5 Shocking Facts About the World's Biggest Brands Number 5. Starbucks Blocked Ethiopian's Bid to Trademark Its Own Coffee In 2006, the National Coffee Association NCA, blocked the Ethiopian government's bid to trademark three of its most popular coffee seeds in the US on the grounds that it would hurt their country's economy. Oxfam, a UK-based anti-poverty group, accused Starbucks of being the real mastermind behind the NCA's move. It was revealed that Ethiopian farmers would earn about $1 per pound of coffee which Starbucks would then resell for as much as $26 per pound. In 2007, Starbucks and the Ethiopian government reached an amicable settlement whereby the three coffee seeds would now be trademarked as the intellectual property of Ethiopia. In exchange, Starbucks would be recognized as a preferred buyer of the country's coffee products. Number 4. Coca-Cola tried to pass off Coke as a health product. Coca-Cola wants everyone to buy its products so bad that the company even created a handy online manual to guide restaurants on how to sell more Coke. They attempted to pass off Coke as healthy by busting the many myths associated with the product. In Australia in 2008, they hired a well-known Australian actress, Carrie Armstrong, to appeal to mothers and tell them that Coca-Cola didn't make children fat, harm teeth or contain detrimental amounts of caffeine. Soon after, concerned parents, consumers and dentists deluged the company with a barrage of complaints about its blatantly misleading campaign. Not only that Coca-Cola had to pull its ads and apologize for them, but Australian officials forced the company to bust its own ads in 2009 by making it start a setting the record straight campaign to debunk its earlier claims. Number 3. Nestle aggressively pushed infant formula in developing countries. Long before fast foods and its effects on health became the subject of hated debates, there was infant formula. In the 1970s, a major scandal started when food giants such as Nestle aggressively pushed infant formula products in developing countries. The company was using saleswomen in nurse uniforms to push its products on nursing mothers in wards and clinics. These milk nurses hooked the mothers on the products by giving them lots of free samples which inevitably curbed their lactation. This resulted in a decline of breastfeeding and the skyrocketing of infant malnutrition and death. Number 2. McDonald's Unrealistic Budget Plan for Low-Wage Workers In 2010, McDonald's, in partnership with Visa, published its sample budget plan for employees called Practical Money Skills Budget Journal. The budget plan achieved notoriety in the fall of 2013 when workers conducted a strike campaign across the US to ask for an increase in the minimum wage. Among other things, the plan called for the workers to be engaged in a second job and pay only $20 a month for health insurance. McDonald's CEO Dan Thompson tried to defend the sample budget and said that the plan was an ideal setup for a two-person household. Unfortunately, the only thing McDonald's accomplished with the budget plan was to reveal to everyone how hard it was for minimum wage workers to get by. Number 1. IKEA used slave labor in the 1970s and 1980s. IKEA admitted to the awful practice when a report in 2012 by auditing firm Ernst & Young revealed how East Germany provided forced labor to the Swedish company using political prisoners. IKEA did not use the prisoners directly at its own plants, but its subcontractors in East Germany did. Meanwhile, IKEA's own employees who knew of the practice kept quiet or deliberately covered up the sinister fact. Escaped prisoners divulged how they knew all along they had been manufacturing parts for IKEA since the prison guards did not even bother to hide the company's logo which appeared in the boxes used to store the finished products. Thanks for watching, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more shocking facts.